It's amazing as that is, we need to get to the Witten Oval because I tell you what, history's about to be made again, if that makes sense. Nathan Brown is out there, our man on the spot. What's going on out there, Nathan? Certainly am, Jim. We are about to recreate television history. The star of the show and the people's person, Gary Lyon, is yes. here. And Gaz, how are you feeling? Hey, it's minus three degrees. Yeah. And you reckon I got the dog here because it's a cute dog. That's warming my legs, this big bastard. Give us a look at your pins in that dressing gown. All yeah. right, you got to do this quick. Look at him. And special uh, guest there, Gary? I've got a pair of, pair of Ricky Jackson shorts going. <laughs> but I tell you, it's unbelievable who's here. And uh, the bloke next to me, Brown Dog, I don't know, he's got better things to do than be out here at this time of night. Well, this man played on the day, Simon Beasley, one of the Footscray greats. What can you tell us about the day? Well, Brownie, mate, I, I was in the vicinity. All I heard was a howl, actually, mate. It was an enormous howl. <laughs> mate, I came down, look, he got on the stretcher, and I saw the tears, mate. He was crying. Oh, the on, facial mate. expressions. He's a man who wouldn't play when it started raining, yeah, this bloke. Mate, <laughs> and what were the odds of him going down that day? Mate, I didn't. I, I, I thought he was bigger than that, the kid from Cobra. They reckon he was tough. Mate. Mate, he was Hey, who, kicked, who kicked the first goal? Did you? Yes, I did. <laughs> yeah, the demons got rid of him, Brown. They went on to win the game anyway. Oh, oh, terrific. Great right. to have you, Danny. Brownie, get on with it, now, Gaz, you need to go and get ready. Get on the stretcher because Jim's going to call this one in a minute. We've got a very good teammate of Simon's to come through. Tony Libertore, who's going to kick oh, us off. Oh, here he is, little so lib up. Oh, look at him. Yeah, ready. <laughs> oh, Set. oh, no. Libba, hit that oh. button. Here we go, Jim. Oh, over to you. Gary's on the stretcher. We've got the great trainers there from oh. the Melbourne Footy Club. Through he moves. He's not looking comfortable or happy, the great man. The Melbourne Chairs got it there. They've got the Gary posters to make him very welcome. Then we've got the Melbourne mascot joining us, and of course, you'll see him come in the screen in just a second. Yo, Gabba! He's a part of what's going on. David Koch. He's everywhere, Koshy, of course, because he keeps disrespecting Port Adelaide. He's done it! 18 metres! Gary Lyon on the stretcher has gone all the way through. It looks a bit comfortable to me. Brownie. I oh, know, we've got the uh, fireworks going off. Look at Gaz. Look at him. Hey, it's a good thing he's not close to those flames with all the fur. Geez, those flames would have lit you up, Gaz. Your oh, eyebrows would have gone up, Brownie. We're taking the whole ground down. Hey, boys, I've been a good sport. That is it. No more. We just end the story. We're showing the vision one more time. Yep. Hey, uh, oh, what? Gary. Oh, yeah. There it is. <laughs> hey, um, Brownie, he looked a bit comfortable to me there. It didn't look like it was causing him much distress. No. Oh, not a hell of a lot of distress until the fire flames went up and then he jumped <laughs> 10 feet. The dog, look at his dog. Come here. Come here. <laughs> Yes, All right. Right. <laughs> and it's been good. It's well, been good and uh, it's good fun and it's worth doing. So well done to all the people oh, coming out. And, uh, he hates it. That's it. Hey, Gary, trust <laughs> us. What? We will never see what? that vision again Ever. as long as Bill or myself yeah. or Sam are on the footy show. Oh, and I've got to get out. I need security on the way out. Hang on, Nathan Brown. Hang on, Jim. He'll sign autographs. He'll love that. <laughs> well done to Brownie. Well done to Gary. Gary will stay and sign autographs as long as you like. We'll be back to wrap up after this.